Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Quest for Faith with Brian. And today we're going to be talking about the craziness that happened in the Olympics. And for me, the part that's the most shocking thing is that we're shocked they would do something like this. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you might be living under a rock or just be blessed to not have any technology and you just somehow happen to find my video. I don't know how that works, but um, during the opening ceremony, they had drag performers come out and it really does look like the mockery of the last supper. And just to kind of show a few images here. Uh, yeah, this was kind of it. And if you take the painting, one of the, some paintings of the last supper and you pull it up to this, it looks really, really, really similar. And I'm not going to make some of these images too big here, but like there's a little girl on stage with them. Uh, but when you start reading what they uh, what they talk about on this, it's like, oh, it wasn't meant to be that. It was just Greek gods and goddesses coming out on the stage. And on a side note, I'm just going to point this dude out. You couldn't pay me enough to do this. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And my question is, as a, as a guy, does this dude have pride in what he did? Like, you look like, you look like somebody that's taken some crazy drugs and fell into a vat of blue paint and started to run around naked through Paris. I mean, I don't even know how else to describe that. That's just crazy. I'm sorry. I just, every time I see that, I, that's all I think about is really like, oh, we, we had the best opening ceremony. I got all dressed in blue. It was amazing. I don't know. Sorry. It's just, I, I can't. <laughs> like I was saying, I, the surprising part to me is that we're surprised this would happen. So I, I've had my um, qualms with the Olympics for a while. This is not like it's a new thing. Um, the Olympic Committee is not the best of organizations. And I think it was a lot of stuff came to light after the Winter Olympics in Russia um, and that they went to China twice. Um, there's some, there's some really interesting things that are going on with the Olympic committee and the men and women that run it that are very powerful and definitely not Christian. And my, and my struggle is, is I love sports. I love watching competition. I love watching the people that are the best at what they do go out there and compete head to head. Man, there's nothing better than that. It's so much fun to watch. But then to go, wow, I'm watching this. And because I'm watching this and it's such a draw, these evil people that would totally do an opening ceremony and approve this. Because look, you can't chalk up this opening ceremony to something like, oh, well, it was just this small committee that knew this. This was approved. They run these things like a dictatorship. The Olympics on the organizational side of it, even within each country, is run like a dictatorship. They get what they want. They get what they want. And so to act like, oh, no, they didn't know. or the We just didn't understand. We didn't know what they were really doing. And I haven't seen that, but I, I could see the the pushback. But today, I don't know if they're even going to do that. I mean, we got, and what I'm saying about being surprised, I mean, it wasn't even that long ago that we had the Sisters of Perpetual uh, Indulgences. These just awful people. Though, look, there we go. Another mockery of the Last Supper. Yeah, these guys are just... <clears throat> absolutely awful and it stinks because you know now i have now i'm like man i don't know if i could even watch dodger games and i want to 
man, they got Shohei Otani on there. They got, I mean, dude, they are rocking this season and it's great baseball to watch, but the organization for the Dodgers celebrated these dudes and they're literally mocking Christ all the time. And this was just a small thing. So if we, I mean, and this was last year, but let's go eight years ago, right? This is still Europe. So we're going to go to Europe. But if you've never watched this, go ahead and give it a watch. Give it a Google search and you'll see what I'm talking about. I remember when this came out eight years ago, but the opening of the uh, Gothard Base Tunnel opening ceremony was crazy. And I'll just play a little bit of it here. Uh, let's go. I'm not going to do that one. There's some nudity on that part. Yeah, we'll go. Why not? Let's just play a little bit. I got it silenced. This is the opening ceremony, folks. Just wait for it. Just wait. Yeah, look at that. Nice blessing of a new tunnel. And by the way, all these people in suits, these are all leaders in Europe. Tons of EU representatives. Thoroughly enjoying this lovely opening ceremony. It's crazy. Oh, and then we're going to have some Christian symbology here with some normal looking people. It gets more and more nuts. Then they're pulling all the execs and <clears throat> leadership off their seats. Come out of the tunnel. We're all going to be birthed out of the tunnel. Here we go. It's nuts. And I mean, this was eight years ago. This wasn't like it was yesterday. And then we even go, and let's go back to the United States. Yeah, this is still part of it. You see this picture? Yep. Totally normal. Bizarre opening ceremony. See, today, this would be an amazing, artistic, beautiful opening ceremony. It's not in hiding anymore. They're just like, yeah, deal with it, Christians. This is our world now. But even things like this, like this isn't new. Like if you guys remember this, I remember watching this. Like there, it's hard for anyone to not think Shakira is talented and beautiful. But I remember when this came out, and I've had this weird feeling on her, her halftime show at Super Bowl in 2020, and I was like, this is weird. Like, what's up with this rope? There's bird cages on the, on the whole thing. And pretty quickly after that, now allegedly, I'm not an expert in any of this stuff, but pretty quickly after that, there was allegations that this was a satanic ritual. Now, do I know that for a fact? No. But it was all nice and hidden in there. And so whenever we're coming into things like this and we see this again and they just make it blatant, it's just more blatant than it used to be. Right? It's not like this is, this is new. But I think it's just more in our face. And so I'm more surprised at, the, at people that are shocked that they would do something like this than I am surprised that they did it. If that makes sense. Sorry if I'm being Debbie Downer on a Monday morning, but I am. So, oh, but I'm going to leave you with some hope. So hold on. I'm not done yet. I'm going to leave you with some hope. But one of the things that, um, that I'm also going to look at here is I think. So I pointed out secure. That was 2020. Let's go back to this. Look at all this craziness in music. Eminem's new album is just littered with, there's a song, Satan, there's one called, I can't remember all the names of his new album, but man, there's some crazy stuff in there. You got Sam Hunt. This is weird. Google Sam, if you don't know who Sam Hunt is, Google his early pictures to him now, and you tell me that he has not sold his soul. I'm just saying, Lil Nas and his crazy video that he came out with, just awful but is there hope i'd say there is 
this is super cool how cool is that this is actually a crowd of thousands of christians that came out to really kind of counter protest the opening ceremony of the olympics and if you can't hear them they're singing ave maria which actually brings me to this i have merch now y'all if you want to get some this is actually one of my favorites uh basically the first part of the hail mary in latin wrapped around an image of mary um links are in the description below uh and on the on the more information about my my channel so go check it out i got some cool merch on there that i'd love you guys to to to, to rep and just show your love for christ on there so i'm trying to come up with some cool designs that are um authentically catholic and uh but yeah so i got merch now so i'm kind of excited about it um but there's hope there's always hope because we know christ wins in the end this isn't like it's a one and done it's just they're getting bolder and i remember a few years ago i was listening to father ripker and if you don't know who father ripker is look him up a uh, fantastic priest, um, very, very orthodox in his teachings. And Father Ripker had some great insight, and he was talking about he has this feeling that Satan's getting desperate because his time, he knows his time is up. And I think that could be the case. It's either they feel like they're going to win or they need to go hard and fast now to destroy as many souls as they possibly can because they're about to get slapped upside the head. And I I would like to go with the, with the latter, that, uh, that their time is up. I think we're seeing what is happening in the world and we're seeing all the hurt and all the anguish that we have in our society today because we've fallen away from our Christian principles. And people are starting to rise up. People are starting to sing in the streets of Paris, Ave Maria. And it's a beautiful thing. So, guys, yes, this is crazy. But I'm not surprised at it about the Olympics. And am I going to watch the highlights? Yes, I am. Because I love sports. It's fun. But this is to be expected as long as we have leadership in our countries that are not Christian leaders. They do not hold the dignity of the human person at the highest regard. And that goes for every single policy opening ceremony. When you think through everything, the dignity of the human person is not in the equation when you look at the, the everything. So anyways, this was, it's been a crazy month to say the least. So, um, but there's hope we're getting out there. There was just the Euchar Eucharistic um, um, conference that just happened and that looked fantastic. And one of my buddies, I'm going to do some uh, reactions to some of his videos he's been putting out. Uh, Drew the Catholic, go check it out on his channel. Um, he's putting together a lot of cool stuff. Uh, he got to go to the conference with a press pass, YouTuber with a press pass. Fantastic. Good job, buddy. Um, but yeah, there's hope. We just have to stick our continue to push forward to worship God to spread the gospel and everything's going to be all right. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you guys have a great day. Like I said, uh, check, check the merch store out in the links below and I appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.